Hello, everyone, and happy Friday. Thank you for watching KXN Live News Notes. I'm Amanda Dugan. And I'm Will Dupree. We have much to cover, so let's get right into it. First up, the governor is issuing another executive order today. The big headline, you can see it listed there at the bottom of your screen, bars must close once again all across Texas. That's right, and that starts at noon today. Now, keep in mind, this is the executive order, second executive order we've seen come down from the governor this week. Now, that order, it also forces restaurants to move back to 50% capacity starting on Monday. The governor also says effective immediately rafting and tubing businesses, they have to close as well. Special permission will be needed for any outdoor events that have more than 100 people. The governor says he is taking these different actions now to stop the spread of COVID-19, which is rising at record levels this week in terms of new cases and hospitalizations. Moving over to the Lakeway area now, local health leaders, they are worried there could be a major COVID-19 outbreak among hundreds of teenagers. And now the mayor of Lakeway says she is working with health officials to set up a testing site. Austin Public Health sent out this letter for people who attended a party called Pong Fest. APH and the mayor of Lakeway say they've heard 300 teenagers went to the event last weekend and some of them have since tested positive. We need anyone that went to that party to isolate for 14 days. And if you've been in contact with anyone else since that party, they need to isolate for 14 days. If you are symptomatic, go get tested. Mayor Sandy Cox said in that Facebook briefing last night that the testing site would be for the teenagers who went to that party. Officials say some people at the party were positive and they didn't know it. Okay, well, so looking a little closer at home here in Central Texas, there are more than 5,000 active cases. Now that number, keep in mind, it has spiked since early June. Since March, the virus has killed 171 people. Close to 7,000 people have fortunately recovered from the virus. Because of the spike in local cases and across the state, the governor is now putting a hold on his reopening plan. So what that means for businesses, they will not be able to expand capacity from here. Statewide, more than 4,700 people are in hospitals with COVID-19. And to help free up hospital space, the governor also put restrictions on some elective surgeries in four of our largest counties. So we're talking Travis, Dallas, Harris, and Bear counties. There are exceptions, though, and doctors will work with patients. We always like to leave you with a smile here on KXAN News Notes. Um, so... Something really cool is happening southeast of the Austin area at Roy Guerrero Park. They're finding a, a unique way to make sure everybody stays social distancing. Yeah, I really like this. It's called Park Space. And if you want to take a look at this video, eco-friendly turf paint makes it easy to remember and correctly social distance while outside. Yeah, so you can see they're eight by eight squares are placed six feet apart. And get this, the pattern, it highlights native Texas wildflowers. Really Very appropriate. Yeah. Peace, Republic, and Zilker Parks are also getting their park space treatment before the 4th of July. I wish that it happened sooner, but this is really cool that they're doing that. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? It's a way, especially as we start to see things potentially really starting to roll back here. Right. People can still find a safe way to get outside and maybe be with their family. So great stuff. effort. Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us on KXAN Live News Notes. Enjoy your weekend. I'm Amanda Dugan. And I'm Will Dupree. We'll see you back here next week.